Lunar exploration is going to involve a lot of different companies and countries working together. So we see lunar landers coming from South Korea, from India, from China, as well as from Europe and the United States. This creates opportunities for business. One of the opportunities is to provide the telecommunications because all of these landers need to relay their data back to Earth somehow. And not everybody wants to build their own communication satellite. So the idea is, from a, a European company that happens to be in the UK, is to provide the service that everybody else needs, at a price of course. Uh, and that involves building the, the first commercial deep space uh, ground segment, the, the ground terminal, but also a small satellite. And that could fly as soon as 2022 or 2023 and start to provide those first services. And then it could grow into a whole constellation of satellites by the end of the next decade. Today you see a trend of more commercialization uh, in space and one of the things we're involved with is providing, uh, allowing commercial companies to provide services so now anybody can get a, a piece of science or anything they like to the space station by going through a commercial European company. Um, that's going to increase I think in the future. For the gateway, it'll be about transportation services are the first things that are likely to be commercialized. So transport to the gateway, uh, maybe the provision of some of the services on the gateway. It's going to be a small place. Uh, it's not as big as the space station. So it'll be less opportunities maybe for commercial research. Um, but I think there are also going to be commercial landers going to the surface of the moon. And we are interested in ESA in buying those transportation services down to the moon for our science and technology. So it's going to be the growing lunar economy is something that we will see happen. We already have international partnerships, of course, with the space station partners, but uh, with Russia, we're working on the Lunar Resource Lander mission, which would land and try and drill below and find the water we think is there. It's a pure science mission. But uh, so we have a mutual interest in the science and we have technology that we can contribute to each other. Uh, we're talking also to uh, China about possible cooperation in their lunar program and even Mars exploration. We've already provided services, uh, data relay services uh, through our, our operations center to the Chinese missions. And we have to build up a mutual trust and understanding and share together. And the way we do that is first of all the scientists getting together and they define the future projects. So it's a great opportunity for the future, I think, to work with all of the international space agencies. Polish industry has a lot of capability that could contribute to the exploration program and really stretch the capabilities, grow the capabilities in Poland. So the Polish industry, uh, there is one company that is in already involved in the European docking system that is being built at the moment. We hope to use that on the Lunar Gateway, so that's the chance for Polish technology to go to the moon. Um, but that is only one possibility. There's great capabilities in robotics here, uh, me mechanisms, clever devices that we will need for both our robots and maybe our humans to explore the moon. So we hope that that will be a growing capability. And then there's great science basis, uh, both in life sciences and physical sciences, where Poland could make a stronger contribution to the future of Europe's space exploration program and therefore the global program. And we really hope that Poland is going to make a, a strong commitment to the program when we come to the ministerial. So uh, today we have a group of six astronauts uh, that work aboard the space station one at a time and the plan is each one of those gets a second flight. But if we have a strong support at this ministerial conference, the space conference in November, uh, we plan to have a call for new set of astronauts. Now it takes about a year to do the process because we will get maybe eight or ten thousand applications we will boil that down to just a handful of people that will be selected and then they will start their training. And the idea is they'll be ready to be assigned to missions which occur from 2024 onwards. So it's a kind of five year process, but uh, it's good luck to anybody who wants to apply and we welcome applicants from Poland with the right qualifications. It's a fantastic opportunity that we hope will arise after uh, the next ministerial and therefore starting in 2020.